I assume you realize how difficult it would be to rate top varsities all round of SA. Oh, about that. Quick update on campus wars. I plan to do a trip up north in about August, September, and I'm planning on hitting Vits, Tux, UP, UJ, NWU, and UFS. That's what I'm fucking talking about. No! But what I need from all of you guys who go to those universities, go down in the comments right now, and don't just type your own. Look if someone's typed it already and then like that shit so I can get a consensus. I need to know your term dates for term two. What is the best date that I can come to the north where I catch all of you guys at university at the same time? Because obviously it's going to be about a week or two trip where I hit all the universities at once. So if y'all want to see Campus Wars, help me out. Go to the comments, make it happen. All right, enjoy the video. Hey, you know what time it is? <laughs> it's White Boy Summer. White Boy Summer. If I don't get 100K by the end of the year, <laughs> bitch, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> The minute they click on this, they're like, where the fuck is the baddie? They just jump out the video. Yeah. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? First of all, yeah, yeah. You see that? This is what happens when you get 40k subs on YouTubies. Come on, yeah, me. They start putting your name on shit. Daddy, chill. I just want to state, guys, before I was not meant to be here. I was just a replacement because someone fell out. It's true. Jay was first choice, but how can you blame me? <laughs> Crazy. Come on, come on. Huh. I'm shaking my arm, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I'm glad you did that because I was about to buy that off this part of me. I was gonna, I was gonna, so usually I actually have to go and buy my food from these restaurant places, but 40k comes with some special amenities on the side. So we actually have food from a spot called Cotalicious today. That's my boy Levy, my namesake. Why are you not in the frame? I'm in the frame, bro. I want you. Hey, yo. Boys, like, boys. Do you want to lips? Do you want to kiss, bro? <laughs> yeah. It's my boy Levy. He whips up Cotas from his crib. He's located right by lower campus. Five ingredients. <laughs> Five ingredient madness. Mango acha, sauces, cheese, poloni, viennas, chips. Okay, that's six and then seven with the bread, but I didn't include the sauces originally. You get the vibe. He delivers in the area around lower campus and also obs and shit. I'm gonna put all the information on the screen right now. If y'all wanna try it out, Hit him up. I told him before he dashed me the food. I was like, bro, you're getting an honest review because that's who Chief Matt is. I tell you straight to the point. To um, the point. So let's open this shit first. Levy told me that they're a bit big. So I don't know if this is the regular size or if they threw a little bit because they... Holy shit, bro. That's a big ass. That's a big ass meal. So here's the reveal. <laughs> nah, you know you're ready, bro. <laughs> You know what that look like? You know when like girls have nyash and their jeans is just like busting out the jeans, <laughs> coming out the top. <laughs> yeah, boy. It smells pretty good. I'm getting like yeah, Nando's ish smells. Yeah. Yummy. Okay, how do I eat a kota properly, bro? Oh, brother. Okay, he buttered the bread on the outside. I don't even know how I'm finna taste it. I got mine without bologna because before I moved to SA, that listeriosity shit scared me. <laughs> and I told BT about it. He's like, me. <laughs> BT is like, me, what to smell you? The smell does not mean anything. His has bologna, mine doesn't. But you took the acha out, right? Yeah. Let's taste. I don't even know how to eat this properly. I'm gonna take a white boy bite in the beginning, and then I'll start pieces in it with my hands afterwards. It's pretty good. I don't know what the other sauce is, but there's definitely tomato sauce. Well, duh. I will say though, it is a bit cold, but unfortunately, Levy's power went out thanks to the South African government. What's that, man? I think for the amount of food for the price, it's a good deal. It's like the size of my head, bro. I do not know how Matt finished all of this. <laughs> ah, this one, guys, is the one. When it's warm. But then it's just, you did your team, but I can't remember if I... What are we doing here today? Ask you guys to send in assumptions about me as a YouTuber, and we're going to address them live on air. And you know how it is? Chief Matt keeping it straight the whole time. Oh, I didn't even introduce you, but if they don't know who you are, they're actually not even fans of this They're not fans of this Yeah, this is BT. Yeah. BT on the fucking yeah. beat. I really want you to become a DJ. A DJ? Yeah, because your ad will be mad. Yeah, nah, BT on a beat as be, well. And then the drop will be like... <laughs> <laughs> Beat you on a beat as well. Firstly, that beat is you're, you're gonna be doing Firstly, doof that, music. No, we're not doing doof 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 doof. Nah, Where'd you bro. go to school? What do you mean? Where'd you we're go not to gonna school? bait that out, <laughs> but listen, bro. <laughs> bro, we're not gonna be Are you ready? That shit is trauma, bro. Can you eat pussy like that? It's 10.45 in the morning, we're eating cottas in the room, oh. bro. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Right, you're rich but poorer than EB. Who? Who was that? EB. Who's that? I only know about SA YouTubers above 40k. Huh. Oh. That kind of hurt me, kind of hurt my feelings. Yo, yo, my people, it's your boy EB, and today we're back with another 
Banger. Also, it's very true, Evie does have more money than me, but he also runs a child's mine in the Congo. So if you guys support <laughs> child labor, go and subscribe to Evie the Kid. You all know why they call him Evie the Kid. That's crazy. Piece it together. It's love, bro, but I'm always assuming your parents didn't whip or beat you growing up. What do you think? Nah, 100% no way, bro. Firstly, you're white. I'm a white African-American. And secondly, you've been only child. Mm -hmm. Max, my boy, do you want anything you want? Wait. And I'm glad I set you up like this. What do you mean? Because I definitely got physically disciplined as a child. Nah. And no, it might not show. And yes, I am an only child, so I do get a lot of privilege but it wasn't hard i didn't get beat you probably got like a hand a no spank. i got no we can never spank a child never we beat them i got the wooden spoon and a belt on, and a belt a couple times Ugh. Ah. Wooden spoon, my brother, in the African asshole. I know, bro, I know. A gun could come out at any point. You <laughs> don't know, bro. Nah, dude. Just light like just fucking us. Two slide in the corner lane, bro. Yeah. Don't block the camera, bro. They want Leg, please, man. Okay. Guys, Ma just know this. BT always wants to put his leg on my hand when I'm changing gears. I'm not gonna say anything. You guys tell me what that means in the comments. <laughs> Brother, I need to spread up my legs, bro. Come whoa. On. Hey, yo. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. BT pop that pussy for a real one. <laughs> bro, another car can't get past you. Oh shit, man. Ooh. Ooh. That's an upgrade right there. That's an upgrade right there. Oh, upgrade. Come on, England. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bro. This yeah. white ass hoe drives past. Okay, it's a tight fit. She gets past easily. She stops her car, gives me an <laughs> eye. <laughs> so, like, if I go in trouble with my mom, she'll be like, go to your room. Your pops will handle you when he gets home. Oh, shit. That's oh, when I used shit. to be afraid. Yeah, when my mom yeah. used to be like, I'm gonna spank you. I'll be like, bring it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, bring it. So, then one time, they leave me for small. My pops comes in the room. I'm like, <sighs> I'm ready. He looks. He's like, why is it so thick in the Nyash area? I put on every pair of undies that I owned and I try to hide it from him. So I had like 30 pairs. I was like, do it. He was like, bro, take that shit off. Like, Whoa. Oh. <laughs> bro, she's coming back, bro. She's actually rolling down her window. She's rolling down her window. This fucking Karen. This fucking Karen. Wake up, Sophie. Hi, how are you? Oh. No. Oh, for hockey. Hold on. Do you have maps on your phone? Good guy, Chief Matt. <laughs> we thought we gotta square up right now. Damn, bro. Bro, it's just nah, so nice. bro. So nice. I wanna apologize. Bro, your energy as well. Nah, bro. I misread. I misread. Bro, your energy, nah. That's not a Karen. That's a. What do they call the ones that aren't Karen? They give them like another white woman name, like a Diana or something like that. I wanna formally apologize. You were ready yeah. to fight, bro. Nah, but I would have expected she looked like a Karen. She looked. She the looked. way. The <laughs> she was bro. so sweet. And she offered my number, bro. So weird. She offered your number? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, next one, next one. Wait, before we move on, can I just explain a trauma story? It's a quick one. Oh. So when I was growing up, there was one time my mother was sleeping on the couch. She left eat some more biscuits. But then the next morning she went to work. But those eat some more biscuits were still there, but they were finished, right? In the mo in and before when she was sleeping, right? What? Okay, wait, let me start over. Basically, um I got beat up for are you serious, my brother? Guy, what the fuck is your storytelling uh, skills right now? Do you know what it is? Like, it's fine. Just keep no, going. try one more time. One more time. No, we're not trying one more time. We're not. <laughs> you mess with the UK culture a lot more. Mm, than SA culture. I feel like a lot of South Africans our age, so like 18 to 24, I'm 25, but yeah. You know the vibes? I even know, uh huh. You know the vibes of whoop dee. UK culture, especially on socials, has exploded in that generational lifetime. America was always the standard and it's still like popular, but the UK just exploded like in the past five to 10 years. UK memes, YouTubers, music, all that shit. When South Africans are growing up, we're exposed to that international culture. That's what we go for. Personally, when I landed back into Cape Town from SA, I had been out the, I mean, from England. England. I've been out the country for six years at that point. So I didn't really like associate with South African culture. But I will say that recently, like especially after going full time into YouTube, where I'll have to like be funny in South Africa, I'm a lot like more in touch with like the culture and the memes and the jokes and like yeah. the lingo and all that shit. Like I'm reconnecting back to my roots. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? I'm back. I'm back. I'm returned. Very controversial one right here. You don't find a uh, black girl attractive. You're correct, no, I'm blank. <laughs> First of all, we all know I have a type. Colored hand, curly hair. Y'all have seen the episodes, bro. Like, are you surprised? <laughs> But it doesn't mean I don't find black girls attractive. There have definitely been black girls in the past I find attractive. There have been white girls in the past I find attractive. It do not matter. If your booty fat, you know where I'm at. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> but what I will say is I feel like this is a trend. You can tell me if I'm wrong. And we're taking a risk here being men commenting on the status of black women in South Africa, our land. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of black girls have that insecurity about like, oh, they're not gonna find me attractive from the get-go. And what that sounds like is me as a short gent writing off women being attracted to me because I'm short. Immediately. Yeah, immediately no. Mass- immediately wow. no. Imagine I approach women, I was like, they're not gonna fuck with me because I'm short. They're not gonna fuck with me because I'm 5'8. Or like, oh, she's not gonna fuck with me because I'm a white boy. No, I'm saying black girls play themselves with that mentality a lot of the time. When they're like, oh, he's not gonna fuck with me because I'm a black girl. You assumed my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? But like, majority of the time it's that way. That is true, time. but majority of the time, colored girls, black girls don't fuck with white boys in SA. Yeah, majority of the time, fair, a fair. bunch of girls yeah, say, yeah. if you're short, if you're under six foot, yeah. don't fucking talk to me. Do you know how many times girls have told me that in person? Zero. Do you know why? Because I roll with confidence, bro. I'm like, let me be the exception. I've had girls that be like, my type is black gents, but I'm still there. Just why? 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 Why am I still there? Because I said it's me. It's Hold me. Dance. Trying to approach POC woman as a white boy. Yeah, you gotta come with crazy. sauce, bro. Yeah. With a mullet. And they're still there. <laughs> Talk to me nicely, bro. Or we can make it simplistic and just say some people just don't find a certain race attractive. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that also happens, yeah. Not a lot to me, but anyway. Okay. All right, cool. <laughs> You kiss every girl in the passenger seat unless they are taken. Mm. I brought this one for two reasons. One, because I got bare comments about passenger girls. Two, even if they're taken, that doesn't bother me, bro. I'm not gonna lie Crazy. to you. You a hoe. Now, I've not had a passenger girl that was taken that I wanted. You understand? Know I got you. It's Did not... you tell me God was the other girl that was in here? It says anything, my blood. <laughs> I didn't get with her. You got it. Yeah, you told me guys that he got with one of them. Shut the fuck up, bitch! I'm not gonna lie. I would have preferred this without the mango Acha. I told you, bro. I mm. told you, bro. Mm. Mm. Acha is just, it's a bit too powerful. Mm, no, that shit. You understand what I'm saying? Powerful, just ass. This is a lot of food, though, I'm not gonna lie. Well, you fucking it up, though. Um, yes, queen. <laughs> no, no, I'm a fat ass, but it, <laughs> it's a lot of food. You fucking nah, it's a lot of food. I need to gain weight, anyways. When are we getting you back in the gym, bro? Wait, I wanna put you in seven position for 70 minutes, you get it, babe. Must I took my shit now? Uh, uh, see how wedge I am. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> so now you wanted to spread your legs and take all your shit off with me. That's crazy, That's bro. Crazy. We're trying to get a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done with that? Oh, I don't hook up with all the passenger girls, bro. Not all of them. <laughs> I needed that one, boy. Let's go. About that, then it's gonna cut to the yeah, campus yeah, out there. We're gonna put in the beginning of the video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's better than the yeah, yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, it's yeah, better, yeah, because yeah. it's more subtle, yeah, but it, yeah, yeah. it lets your mind know that it's changing. Change level, it's very nice. If you test it, you would like to test it again.